back of that scat, I'm in the back of that Bentley, I'm in the back of that Benz, I'm in this bitch with the bit nine times, give a fuck about your friend. I don't give a fuck about a friend, not at all. Boogie gon' pop a nigga tallin' all. Boogie, go gang gang, yeah. I'm on the post, I'm on the block right now trying to. Yeah, you know what it is, your boy Boogie Nine Time. I'm home in the van, I'm in the park side. Y'all know where I am. Fresh off the block interview. It's not even my homeboy, you feel me? This like my my real brother. Like this shit thick in the blood, you feel me? Like I've been knowing bro since since high school, but a little a little way before then. But we ain't really never kick it, kick it to high school, you feel me? But after that shit. Niggas just got some twin shit. Moved out in the streets, you know, thugging, catching charges, you know, doing you know, that type of shit, getting money, <laughs> all the other shit. What first got you into music? Shit, a lot of my homeboys used to just play beats and shit, but like they'll rap, and I'll, I'll like try to rap. I'll just be fucking with them at first, but then it's like I had my nights. I just say like certain shit it'd be hard as hell to like. Damn, I need to start fucking with this rap shit. So. I just got down and started fucking with the beats a lot. Started making my own shit here and there by myself. And I finally got in the studio. I think I was like 16, 16, 17. I've been rapping, but it was on some on and off shit because I ain't really put my all into it. So, But now I'm all in. I'm acting for hell. So, who inspired you to make music? I don't even know. Like, I got idols and shit, but I think I inspired myself to make music. Like hearing, like based off hearing other people's shit. But it, I think the closest person that inspired me to make music was Chief Keith. Yeah, that's my dog right there. I fuck with Chief Keith. How would you describe the music that you typically create? Like, I got some pain shit, but where I come from, it's, it's a lot of street shit. So, so like say, what like, you seen in your life and yeah, stuff? Yeah, a lot of. A lot of trap shit, murder, shit, drugs. I just put it all, try to put it all in one. Now I don't know. Shot, no. Now I don't know no cap shit though. You know, people getting shot, shit. Homies done got shot. A lot of, a lot of shit. Like so how is your creative process like? Um, it's kind of hard, cause like I ain't used to like now. Like now when I be rapping, I just I hear a beat and everything just come to my head like a snap of my friend got freestyle. But back then, like my creative, like I'll, I'll get on, I get on the pad, I get a, a pad and a pencil, and I just take my time out, just think about a lot of shit that I can, I can put forth. It's like a story when I rap. It's different. Like if you catch it, it's really different when I freestyle rap and when I write rap. It's more description than how I do it. So yeah, I try to think about just day to day shit, how I get creative. It's like when I hear a beat, it's already there in my mind. I just gotta find a way to spit it out. If you had a choice to collab with somebody, who would it be? Do it gotta be local wise or just period? Just period. Like if you had a chance to just pick anybody, who would it be? Chief Key, young boy. So you got now. Baby, little baby. So all the rappers that you can relate to. That yeah. feels pain. Yeah. Basically. At this point, but. But I, I, I'll, I'll fuck with YB though. So I'm guessing if you could open a show for any artist, it would be Chief Keith and Youngblood? Mm-hmm. Out the gate. Okay, what is one message you would give to your fans? You could be anything you want to be in life. You ain't always got to be a rapper or be a street nigga or shit like that. You can be what you want to be. You ain't got to always fit in with everybody as long as you okay with yourself. Just love yourself. Shit. It all will come to you if you be consistent on what you want to be. Do you catch yourself singing in the shower? Like, hero songs, other songs? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. It, yeah, it be. <laughs> 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 I just gotta be, I just gotta be, like, in the happy ass mood. Like, serious, high as hell. How do you feel the internet has impacted the music business? Um. Niggas getting paid from the internet, it's a lot of attention. It's a lot of cap shit going on too though, but they getting paid from the internet. It's a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of promotion and publicity and shit like that. And that's how niggas really be getting paid or like you need that attention. Once you build your your type of image, however you wanna be, they're gonna expect you to be that type of image. 
And how can you pick it up and progress? Like get the music throughout the like adults, children, everybody hear that shit on social media, TikTok, everybody. So you think a lot of people don't have talent? It's famous for no reason. I ain't gonna say everybody because I'm on that hating shit. I ain't no more jealous shit or nothing, but like, hell, I ain't knowing what they say sometimes. I mean, certain people, they famous for nothing. Just for me and all that? Like, certain certain people. Certain people really just famous for nothing. Like, they ain't doing nothing. What is the best advice you've been given from your peers around you, like your friends, your family? Get out the streets. Find someone that's for you. Do something with yourself. No end up like excuse me. Don't end up like the next person. Don't be a statistic. They've been telling me that since I was little. Don't be another statistic. If you're gonna do it, then go out with a bang. I did some really shopping this year. At first I didn't really understand it, but now I do. Like how life comes and that shit comes in fast. So you gonna make your you gonna you gonna make yourself out of something or you ain't gonna be nothing. Shit. And I ain't going for it. I'm not a <laughs> I stand out from a lot of people. I'm I wanna be something. I'm gonna be something. It feels like when you're younger, like time is slow, but when you get older it's so much time is fast. Like you just get older and older by the second. Yeah, time is fast as hell, but <laughs> It's crazy because like it might be slow when you're a child, but that brain like when you older you can remember so much shit. From, like if somebody reminded you like damn you used to do this when you was a baby, I'm like damn I remember that shit too, but you couldn't remember back then. Yeah. Like, if you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? It would be the the black ball. The 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 artists who, who the artists who put in the most work, but they get the least credit for the shit they they really deserve. Like. They looking, the industry be looking past them because of the image that they put out for a certain a certain crowd. But the numbers, the numbers passing the charts, they on top of the charts every time. So you really can't argue with that. And business is business. See, that's like me. If I blow up, like if I'm the hottest artist in the world, and my label, my in, like the industry blackballing me, they don't want to give me what I deserve. Like. I ain't really asking for no awards and shit, but like if they don't, like if, if the numbers, the numbers there, like the shit, the work there, the hits there, and they still don't want to recognize me for shit, I'll be like, fuck it. I really don't care about the industry though, I'll stay independent and get this money. I'm in the back of that scat, I'm in the back of that Bentley, I'm in the back of that Benz, I'm in this bitch with the bitch nine times, give a fuck about your friend. I don't give a fuck about a friend, not at all. Boogie gon' pop a nigga Tylenol. Boogie, go gang gang, yeah. I'm on the post, I'm on the block right now trying to bust down the bowl Real street nigga can't beat by the hoe, real street nigga gotta get it and go Pop bitch shit like a gun, boogie nine times ain't the two fuck boy I'm the one I'm in this bitch going dumb, don't show love the bitch my heart really numb